No. You probably thought this deer was alive. Nope, they're not. They're dead. They've been taxidermized by Chuck Testa. Hi, I'm Chuck Testa. I live in Ojai, California for the last 30 years. I'm the owner of Ojai Valley Taxidermy. I used to be just a regular taxidermist, but then the internet discovered me. Next thing you know, I'm some kind of household name because I said, nope, you know. Oh no, there's a bear in my bed. Nope, Chuck Testa. I'm a one-man show, except on the rare occasions when my assistant decides to show up. He's some kind of cross between the Geico caveman and a death metal bass guitarist. I don't think there's anybody on this planet that irritates Chuck as much as I do. I was really looking for a guy that really had a drive and a good work ethic, but what I got was Jeff. <coughs> Since my video went viral, you never know what's going to walk through the door. Today, my friends are coming in to, to pick up their duck. Sam's definitely a good hunter, but his son's a beast. Um, Sam's coming by today. He's gonna bring his son. The little kid that went hunting with me this last season, the one yeah, I told you. Six-year-old kid? This kid hunts better than most of the adults I hunt with. No way. Yeah. Apparently this kid's uh, like six years old and uh, just amazing with all the duck calls. One thing I know for sure is he's smarter than Jeff at six. Hey, Sam. What's up, bro? Hey, Drew. What are you doing, buddy? Good. Drew, this is Chuck. Hey, Chuck, buddy. this is the beast. I've heard a lot beast. about you, man. There's this is the little slayer. beast. Coming to get your dad's duck? You excited? Oh, there he, oh, there is. he is. Take a look. Come Check on. him out. Don't be shy. Yeah. Here's what makes me really insane about Jeff. Every once in a while, his real talent comes through, and he just lays out a really nice, nice duck. Why don't you know Jeff worked really hard on that bird, too, because he didn't want to disappoint you. That's awesome. Night and day difference from the other mounts I've done, I'll tell you what. That's, that's show quality. But then it'll just go back to, uh, you know, Jeff. Jeff, what is this? So they don't get the... the, the that right there, it's called a kit fox. That's not a kit fox, Jeffrey. It's called a fennec fox. Okay, see, that's why you should be asking Chuck about the mammals and not me. It's from Africa. It's the world's smallest fox species. So they're almost as big as Chuck. You know, I mean, I'll never pass up a short joke when it comes to Chuck Testa. Are you in school, dude? I got two more days of school, and then I'll be in first grade. Really? What are you going to do all summer, man? Duck hunt. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's a 100-day season, and there's quite a few opportunities to teach Drew different species. So what's that one? Buffalo head. That's right. What's that one? Scooter. That's right. What kind of scooter? <laughs> yeah, it's a boy, but it's a surf scooter. And then look at this one. Chuck did this one. This one's real cool. What is it? Buffalo That's right. <laughs> when I started asking him what breed was what, Chuck was blown away by it because he nailed every bird. Not only did he know the species, but he knows the calls. Is that a mallard or something? You know, Drew's doing his thing, showing us his calls, and we just started freestyle ducking, you know? I mean, what the hell? I kill my ducks all the time while they're flying. I can spit a rhyme and kill a duck right on a dime. I'm in the blind. Killing ducks on time, all the time. We're in the blind. Till we're done. Man, we could really lay down some beats. He did a great it's job, didn't he? Take off flying, doesn't it? You know, Sam's really happy with the mount, but from Chuck that I've done something good, I mean, it, it was hard to fight back emotion. I mean, it was just, I was blown away by it. I was blown away. I think you ought to have Jeff start teaching you. Because you know you got to do your first duck. So. Got to get you on a pintail or something. That'd be awesome. I think that kid's gonna grow up to be a slayer. I guess he's going. He's well, going. He's excited. Okay. Yeah. All right. I guess I like to say, 
JJ used to be my right hand man because he only has a right hand. Man, I thought you died. How's it going? Well, I'm going to see. Yeah, where the hell you been, man? I've been away for about a year. I'm just coming back to see if uh, Chuck has any extra work for me to do or somewhere I can squeeze in. Well, you know, Jeff kind of took over on the bird part. Uh, I tell you what, I always wanted to start you on deer heads anyway. JJ's special to me. Like, we're like a weird family in a, in a weird way around here. No other way to say it. It's a family and we got close and we care about each other and we take care of each other. And, and when he left, it was like a little bit of a loss. And now that he's coming back, it was like he never left for one minute. Man, who shot this oh. big old buck? So Jeff, how's the tattoo business going? It's been going pretty good, JJ. Did you finish your stomach? Nah, but planning on doing it today, actually. Check it out. Looks as, you haven't touched that thing in years. Weren't I you know. supposed to touch up Chuck's? I am. Uh, no, that's how this son of a got started in here, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that was You know, I'll, if you teach me, then I'll fix your tattoo. One day ago, I get this call from a guy who caught a bass and he, and he wanted how much amount of bass. And I, you know, I told him whatever it was and he goes, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of money. But fast forward three years, Jeff is now a fish and bird taxidermist and my tattoos are still not done. You want to do it like right now? So you'll really do it? Yeah. All right. I'm not joking either. No, I ain't joking either. All right. It's about time that I make this happen and make Jeff get this done for me. <laughs> no way. You're gonna make me tattoo myself first? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I want to see you do something. I'm already in front and ready. Now I remember. <laughs> That's my old lady's portrait. I'm concerned about everything about Jeff. Hygiene, low gene, no gene. Just one big concern. What's <laughs> going on with this thing, Jeff? Why do you got this on a, some kind of remote control motor? <laughs> Jeff was shading his tattoo this, this dark red color, and all of a sudden I started getting concerned because I wouldn't put it past that son of a b to get even and tattoo me with duck blood or something. Son of a gun, he started doing the shading on his thing and then actually he's looked kind of good. So I go, uh-oh, I'm screwed. It pains me to say this, but I like the, how you darken that up. It looks pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jeff, let's do this. This tattoo is my memorial tattoo of my dad. Everything on there is something. The flag was supposed to be a 48 star flag. These are his dog tags, which are early war. These are his... Lieutenant Bowers, you know, my fascination with World War II and stuff, that's probably how it all got started. But hey, it's done. Is it real? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. Do I actually have to compliment you? Or? No. My tattoo came out amazing. But see that? That still could be duck blood red, you know? I mean, you just don't know. Pretty impressed, actually. Thank you. Good job, bro.